what is up guys it's your girl charlene fx and i'm here with a quick live trade with you guys here i'm um, looking at gold right now we had cpi news uh, about an hour ago so i was just letting the market kind of you know breathe kind of do its thing uh before finding a setup here and i'm actually keeping my eye on the buys and potential sells uh, i would like to see the sells actually play out even better than the buys because the buys are a little iffy here we already had a correction of the CPI candle. A lot of indecision here. Um, market looks like it wants to come down, but not quite sure. So I'm keeping my eye here. I'm looking for buys uh, above this area here, above this black line here for price. If it closes above here for us to push up here uh, for that TP and then for the sales, if we close below this area, I'd be looking for price to obviously come down to this area here. So where price is now, um, strong indecision area not too confident about about entering there it is 9 30 market open so we're probably going to get a little bit of volume here to push price so let's see if price does push above this area here i'm going to like to take a buy which it's doing now uh let's see here all right so i've taken a buy here on on uh gold let's see if this is going to uh play out with uh with the 930 volume now usually i would wait for a candle to close above this area to be more confident about the buys uh, but because it is 930 market open uh there's going to be a rush of volume that's going to um that should open up open up and push price a little bit here so let's see if we can grab a quick move here uh before anything else happens here so we're in some profit here very good very nice very nice very nice price is pushing up not sure how far up it can go hoping to get some really good volume um we had cpi earlier so that, that there was volume there and right now i'm up about 10 pips on one position 11 on the other okay yeah we're moving up up nicely here we're up about 11 pips up oh. We're down eight pips so let's see let's see if we can grab grab a little move I'll probably look to get out probably around this area here uh, so let's see uh, how we do how, how, how price pushes here hopefully it doesn't push and then we get you know spike because <laughs> gold is, has been known to to do that all right uh, I know I, 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 I wasn't going to record this video. Um, I just It just popped into my head because I did a, a back test on, on gold yesterday. So I wanted to show uh, what it looks like, um, you know, in, in real time of me doing exactly the same thing that I showed on yesterday's video. So um, I'll just do a quick analysis after I close out this position here. And then I'll show you guys, uh, you know, why I was looking for the buys here and why the sells below this area here. All right, still early into the candle, so I'll also explain why I didn't wait for the candle to close, um, why I entered here, and that's obviously because um, it's market open, and always at nine thirty Eastern time, market open, you're gonna have uh, you know some 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 volume pushing in the market there, so that's why I did that. So let's see, gonna let this ride here. And uh, just need uh, another couple more pips here to uh, to close this move out. So this total is a 41 pip TP uh, for price to come up to around like this area here. So we're gonna practice a little bit of patience and see if price can push. Uh, gold overall right now is pretty bullish uh, we're moving kind of nice here making higher highs and higher lows we did form a level of support right here in price uh broke below but then we had news right so we can't really trade trade that we have to wait cpi was a crazy crazy movement here crazy movement here um and then next candle i always wait about like maybe an hour or so um half an hour to an hour after news to um to you know trade because i 
you know, you want to wait. You want to let the market kind of balance itself out, especially when you had highly volatile news, uh, such as CPI. All right, that's what we were waiting for. So because we have all this rejection up here, I don't know if price is going to make it that high. So I'm going to close out um, with about 12 pips, 13 pips profit. Okay. So price came right around here, which was the highest, which was about 25. And my entry was a little bit late. So uh, by the time I jumped in for the buys, price had already um, pushed pretty, pretty decently. Uh, so nice little uh, 15, 16 pip win um, on gold this morning. Um, let's see here. Oh, she's trying to push a little bit higher here. There we go. Let's see if she's going to hit TP. Let's see if she's going to hit TP. I, I'm a scalper, guys. You know, I, I always secure something. Uh, you never really know how much you're going to win, but you can always control how much you're going to lose. Uh, there's always some reasoning behind uh, why I open and close my trades where I do. Uh, but that's what ha what has kept me profitable over the years is um, learning how to secure, how to secure profits at a decent area um, where I'm okay. And understanding that there's always another opportunity, there's always another trade, and I don't have to be greedy on one trade and not to get um, tunnel vision or stuck on a specific TP area because your TP area, guys, is just an area where you want to see price obviously hit, but you never really know if it's going to hit that area when you want it to hit it, if it ever does hit that area. So you can't have tunnel vision and say, you know, I put my TP here. It's got to hit here, better hit here, or else I'm going to let my trade go back into draw, uh, brought break even or even draw down or at worst a loss. Um, you never want to do that. You know, okay. Uh, once you get into a certain amount of profit, uh, the, the goal is to end the day out uh, in the blue, in the blue, if you can, at the very least to end it at break even. That's the worst thing ever for me uh, throughout my trading journey was to constantly see my trades in decent profit and not closing letting it run and watching it go reverse on me and eventually take me out giving back a lot of profits or uh or losing okay so now that we're out of this trade i don't know if it's gonna hit it may it may not i don't know uh now that we're out um let me tell you guys a little bit about um this breakdown here okay so obviously we had news this morning i don't like what i'm seeing on gold overall um, a lot of indecision, a lot of uh, uh, wicks. Whenever I see a lot, a lot, a lot of wicks in a certain area, I don't like that. It makes me kind of uneasy because um, I, it, it doesn't give me a clear direction of where the market really wants to go, right? The only way you're going to know where the market really wants to go is by the strong momentum, big body candles that tell you who's in control of the market at that time. So basically, whenever you see stuff like this, even though the market is trending down, it's very difficult to look for a setup because you don't know which way it's going to go. You you know it wants to go down, but these wicks are enough to just smack anybody's account, right? We start coming down, and then what does it do? Retraces right on back up inside this area here and then pushes back down, creates a lower low, and then right back up again. So that's something you just have to be be careful with, all right? Um, let's go to the uh, one hour time frame here. Same deal. Price is pushing up. So what I'm, why I said I was looking for the cells, I prefer the cells to play out earlier, was because we have this uh, nice push up here. Uh, and all these swing lows here would at, at some point need to be uh, taken out. Right here and right here as well. Maybe even down here and down here. So that's what I'm anticipating right now. So if we go back to the 15 minute time frame, this is an excellent rejection to the upside here, which is why, like I said, all these rejection candles here made me a little bit iffy about holding all the way up to TP. And now price is looking like it wants to push down. Now in this area here, let me erase this real quick. A lot of what you see going on up here is a lot of what you see down here, kind of the same situation, right? You have this one candle, Huge wick to the upside, huge wick to the downside, and then wicks, and then more wicks in here. So I want to get out of all this mess. I want to get out of this. I want to get out of this. I want a clear direction. I want to, I want price to clear all this traffic that's up here and get out into, you know, clearer, smoother waters. So that's what I want to see. So I'm waiting for this candle to push down. Don't feel safe entering in this area here. Uh, way too much indecision here as well as up here. Now, this was a good entry for the buys because for me, because uh, we had price that pushed up uh, 
broke here this candle did not uh, close it wicked up next candle pushed up and because it was 9 30 market open that was a good entry for the buys now as far as the sells are looking like here don't know if i want to take a second position but just to um just to harp on what i was going over yesterday on the back testing video I'm, I'm going to take a trade and take an entry if price does close below this area here um to show you guys why i take my entries where i take them and stuff like that all right so what i'm looking for is for a candle closure below this area here and look to take uh take tp for the cells down here and it's a good thing i closed when i did guys right that's why i scout because if i had held this position would have got stopped out all right so that's that for the buys those are done and let's see if price wants to continue on down for the cells here so it's going to wait to see if that plays out uh it's only 9 40 we have plenty of time so we're going to wait this candle just opened up i am on the five minute as you can see so we're going to wait and see um if we can get a candle closure below this area to look for the cells anything up here um i'm, I'm not looking for any more buys to be honest with you guys um there's a really big um consolidation that's kind of sort of forming here even though the price is bearish it's coming down here um i'm not trying to take any more up and down trades inside here it's just way too risky so i'd like to wait for price to see if it's going to break below here if it doesn't break below here then most likely i'll just be done for the day so we're going to go until about maybe 10 30 ish to see if we get um some sort of of you know setup here for us to take so bear with me i'll try to uh keep you guys as entertained as possible while this thing is going and then uh, we'll, we'll go from there um so quick didn't see much of a setup on au this morning i was looking at au also this morning uh not too much happening here so just uh waiting years 30 is very very bullish hasn't given much opportunity uh for entries once that news push happened here at 8 30 it did pull back which would have been a nice entry but i was looking at gold at the time so i missed entries there for um uh, for us 30. so we have a big candle drop here so let's see if this can retrace to maybe about half of this candle here or a little bit over here and if it rejects and it starts pumping down then maybe we'll get a break um but if it doesn't you know we'll see we'll see what happens at that point so looking for price to remain below this area for price to continue down once we get a candle closure it's game over at that point so um that was a good um win for me uh that was about a four thousand dollar win just under four thousand or just over four thousand typically i'd be okay with that for the day and i'm good with with finishing my day with that uh, especially since I have a very busy week, I have a lot of um, a lot of stuff to do this week, so um, I wouldn't be looking for any more setups. But to give you guys an example of you know the video that I went over yesterday, that's what uh, that's what this next trade is going to be for if we get what I'm looking for. So what I want to see is for price to close like below this black line, below this black line here is what I'm looking for. Once we get that candle closure, then I'll look to take an entry. As I've said like 10 times already <laughs> in this video. All right. All right. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Now let me look here really quickly because this is looking excellent for the cells. I mean, a lot of wicks to the upside here. A lot of supports getting broken. We just need to clear out of here. We just need this to be done with here. Once this area here is cleared off we're good to go and that's not even at this support that was formed here earlier today as well but, um, but that's just that might be way too low so i can't look at it from that low there um oh some of you may be asking charlene where do you put your stop loss so this is typically where my stop would be in an example like this um it's about a 20 or so pip stop would i hold it for that much probably not okay uh, good. So we do have a top wick that form didn't pull back as much as I thought it would, but you know we'll see. If we get a closure, we get. But if it rejects and it pushes up some more, then it does that. Um, you always want to put your stop guys where it invalidates the trade. Okay. Um, your stop loss should be in an area that says, okay, oops, hey, we got a break here. Uh, but we have one minute till this candle closes. It's gonna close in one minute. Let's wait. Hopefully, it doesn't just melt on us here. 
Um, <clears throat> oh boy. Oh boy, she's gone. Yeah, she's gone. Oh man, just wanted to wait for it to close. It did not close. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take this. Hopefully, it wicks up. <laughs> if it wicks up at <laughs> closure, okay. Um, but if it doesn't do that, it, I don't think it's going to do that. I think that this is probably just gonna come down here uh, because it's got a clear path at this point. Um, it's cleared all of this mess that's up here now. Uh, this should continue continue down here. This candle is going to close in 10 seconds. Oh, man. Yeah, guys. So, yeah, sometimes waiting on candle closures could mean missing out on your move. And that's pretty much what happened here from entry. It pushed down about 20 pips from entry. And there she goes. There she goes. Uh, maybe if we get a bit of a pullback here, we can get a, a second, another opportunity for entry. But if this thing just melts, then... That's going to be it for me today. I'm not going to look for an entry here. Uh, it's just too risky taking a sell uh, at a low. And, you know, my stop loss would have to be, you know, it's just too far away. Way too far. And I don't want to take that risk of jumping in and watching the market potentially pull back, putting me in a bunch of unnecessary drawdown. This would be the trade right here, something like this. And that's not my setup. That's not how I look for trades. And I'm just not going to take that risk. So, um, so yeah, this candle here was a son of a gun, but what we wanted to happen, happened. I want to see a candle close here, just kind of a stronger close. And I, I like strong closes, but this is a bit stronger than I would have liked because it completely takes away, um, my entry here. So yeah, like I said, uh, hopefully we get a pullback here, which it's looking like it's trying to do here. Uh, we got to act fast though, because we already have a candle closure here. Once this candle pushes up a little bit more here, I'll probably look to take to take an entry. So let's see. Let's see if we're still going to get a chance here. And that's why, guys, you don't want to have FOMO jumping in, uh, you know, right at the bottom of moves because you could get smacked <laughs> if you do that. All right. So this is kind of a decent enough pullback for me here. Let's see. How come this thing isn't moving? It's freezing up on me here. My computer is acting up on me right now. I don't know why that is. Okay. All right. So it retested already. Let's see here. <clears throat> Let's see here. All right. Super late entry, but... So let's see if we can get a continuation on down. Um, the reason why I entered uh, where I entered at, guys, around here, is because I wanted to see some sort of a pullback. Uh, this isn't much of a pullback, but it's a pullback nonetheless. So because this candle closed so far down, can't take the risk of letting it pull up too far up. So um, I had to uh, wait once this pullback is here and then, you know, once it's done, We'll go ahead and look for the continuation um, on down. So let's see. Let's see if we can get a, a nice little move here. Uh, we're in some really nice profit here. Uh, about 10, 11 pips in profit. Get a little push. And then we'll see if we're, we're going to be uh, done for the day. And that's going to be a scalp on a buy and a scalp on a sell as well. Let's go on to the higher time frames real quick and just see. Whenever I'm in a trade, I like to kind of bounce around my time frame to see, you know, where I am in the market, where we're at, you know, looking left to see where 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 price could potentially, you know, react from. These are all things you always want to um, keep in mind when you're trading because you never really know what the market's going to do. So you want to keep an eye out. Don't have tunnel vision when you're in a trade and just keep your eyes focused on just where, where the trade is now. Always look left. To see, hey, we have a rejection wick here. If we look further back, we'll see that it's been a while since price has been able to tap into the zone. It actually took a, a news candle to break into this area here. So the fact that we're back into this area now kind of says a lot about this area. And there's a whole lot of uh, liquidity sitting down here for price to, uh, to essentially grab. All right, so that's what's happening uh, down here, so. Let's, uh, let's see here. Let's go back to five minute. 
And let's see if we can grab a quick scalp out of here. Today will be a good day. We're in about eight pips profit. Gonna practice a little patience here and see if we can grab a quick win and be done for the day. And that will be my trade for the for the day, guys. One or two trades a day is all you need. One or two trades a day. Now I know that everybody isn't trading the same side of the count, the same profits aren't the same. You know, but don't look at the profit size. Don't look at the fact that one person makes more than the other, this and that. You want to, um, you want to just focus on the skill. Just focus on the consistency of catching, you know, winning setups, right? Getting yourself accustomed to um, securing profits. Getting yourself accustomed to um, being content with the win. You know what I mean? Those are the things you want to to be okay with so I'm gonna take profit here because I'm at 10 pips profit um, okay so I just closed out my trades for the day uh, so why did I close out here why did I close out here uh, so here's the here's the situation with this um basically I can be impatient at times when it comes to my trading, especially when my first trade um, was a decent win. Now, the thing about it, guys, is um, because I'm so content with wins sometimes and, and my profits for the day, um, I'm very stingy and impatient with my second trade. Now, again, I only took this trade to show you guys like, hey, OK, let me show them in real time. Yesterday, I did a back test. Let me show them in real time, um, you know, what what I was showing them on a back test. So they can see the difference, psychology, uh, how I handle it when, I, when I'm actually in the live markets and things like that. Now yesterday's back test guys that I showed was on the four hour time frame. So obviously we, those were like massive, massive, massive moves that I don't catch you because I'm not an intraday or a swing trader. So, um, but I wanted to show how you're looking for the exact same things on the lower time frames from the four hour right on down to the five minute and how you're looking for those setups um, and on the markets and how to catch them, you know, because you're looking for the same stuff, the same setups, the same discipline, all that good stuff. Waiting for candles to close, waiting for your structure to form, waiting for your retest, all that good stuff. All right. Um, so why I closed out here, guys, psychology. It's all about psychology. I ain't going to sugarcoat it. I'm not going to uh, try to justify it in any kind of way. I'm just going to say I got a decent win on the buys. I was already in some good profit on the sells. Um, yes, can you hold down to here? You can. But do I know that price is going to come down here? I have no idea. Structure is telling me it wants to. Uh, but because, you know, heavy news week, we're not quite sure. We already had news uh, spike down in this area here, push back up. Uh, and price have had a hard time breaking here. It should continue down. It should. But will it continue down? I don't know. I don't want to stick around to find out. I don't want to be greedy. Um, I don't. I don't want to risk taking an unnecessary loss. Okay. So that's that's basically what it is. Now, if I come back to the charts later on today or tomorrow morning, and I see that the market just melted all the way, you know, you know, down here, that's fine. That's okay because we're never going to catch a whole move any at any point. You're never going to catch an entire entire move all the time. A couple of times you may do it. You may get lucky, you know, and it, it, it'll happen for you, but um, you just never know. So this is the formula that has worked for me. This is what has kept me profitable. Uh, you know, catching small moves, it just works. It just works for me and I'm good with that. All right. So that's, that's what that is. So, um, not bad, not bad day for the day. Uh, let's see if this can, can continue down. And if this comes down a, a little more here, that'll be a nice little analysis for you guys. And um, I will end the video there. But I'm no longer in this trade. I closed out uh, at um, at profit and I'm I'm good with, with that. But I still be, uh, firmly believe that price will or should continue all the way down. Will it? Will remains to be seen. But um, should it? Uh, yes, it should. And if there's anything I hate on trading goals sometimes, it's when you know it wants to go in a certain direction, but it just lingers in one spot forever and ever and ever. And it's just a pain in the butt. It really is at times. It's like 
just melt already you know like you did up here you just dropped this one just dropped it's just like as soon as you get in the trade it wants to play around you know what i mean but before that it was moving down nicely these are five minute candles this is a five minutes let me see from wick to wick 54 pip five minute candle there and this one is from wick to wick another 52 uh pip candle there so it's like really so you drop 100 pips and then when i enter that's when you want to take a break you know what i mean it, it, it's horrible but either way i did miss a very good entry here this thing just came down a lot lower than i wanted it to my entries were around here um would have liked to have gotten my entries around here right up under my black line where i wanted to enter which would have been a bigger win for me but uh wasn't that lucky wasn't that lucky but we're still able to catch a decent a decent win out of there so it's all good it's all good doesn't always play out the way you want it to but for the most part um as long as you get a win that is what's most important so just trying to pull back here let's see pulling back to my entry area and yeah, this is not exactly my entry guys i'm not gonna nitpick and play oh i exactly got in here i exactly got in here here just know that I got in around that area here and took profit around there. So that's what that is. So let's see here. Uh, you know, I don't want to make this video <clears throat> too much longer. I hate when I upload really long videos because that tends to bore people sometimes. So um, I'm not going to stick around and wait. Um, today is June 13th. 2023 so whenever it is you're watching this video if you want to see if price eventually came down or if it reversed and pushed back up just swing on back over to that on um, trading view and you can take a look uh but i think this is probably going to come down but i need to go get my day started i'm not going to sit here and wait for this to play out even especially if i'm not even in a trade or looking for a setup i am done for the day so that's it for today guys that's this quick uh live trade video i wanted to break down with you guys if you want to learn how i trade uh please um check out my uh my course all my course info is in the description box below uh, i know i've been out of live trading for about a month now uh we'll be out for another few weeks the live trade sessions will resume or return on July 10th okay day after my birthday uh, once that's over and done with I will go ahead and get back to it so all of you that have been asking about that uh, that's when that is okay I appreciate the love support I get from you guys as always um, any information about anything that I have coming out just follow me on Instagram because I post on my stories uh, almost daily all right guys so you guys be good drop a like subscribe if you have any questions about what you saw in this video, drop a comment or hit me up on Instagram and I'll be more than happy uh, to help you guys out. All right. Also, guys, the one on ones will also return um, after um, July 10th as well. All right. So you guys will be good. Be safe. Don't over trade. And I will see you guys on the next one. As always, your favorite female trader, Charlene FX, and I am out.